Hi there. Welcome to the Schwoben's Nest. My name is Sandra, and I'm so glad you're here. My first project today is using this tea towel that I got at the dollar store, and I'm pressing it using my brand new HTV Ront heat press. This heat press is absolutely beautiful. Look at the nice gold around it. And on top of that, it works really well, just like any other heat press out there. But right now, if you go to their website, which is linked down to my description box, their heat press is on for $79. If you've been waiting to get your hands on a heat press when they're on sale, now's your chance. HTV Ront has a sale on their heat press. It comes in the mint like I have and a cranberry color. They're both exactly the same and they're $79 a piece. So make sure you head on down to my description box and click the link to get yours today. HTV Ront also sent me some heat transfer vinyl in a whole bunch of different colors and I'm using a navy blue and a red for this project. I thought it would be so much fun to put red, white and barbecue on this tea towel. So I'm just going to go ahead and place everything down. And since the backing, or I should say the front sheet, has a sticky backing to it, you can place all of your images down and they'll stay put, which is a really convenient thing when you're trying to work with different pieces. So I'm just going to be able to just place them down and then pick them up and move them around wherever I need them to be. I thought it would be fun to add some stars to give a little nod to my American friends and then stay tuned to the end of this video because I've got something special to share with you later. Here's my design. I think it's absolutely adorable. I can't take credit for this. I did see this on the internet somewhere. I don't remember where, so I can't give them credit, but it was not my idea. I did add the little stars though. So I'm going to be using my press. I've got it set at 315 degrees and I did have it set for only 15 seconds, but I did have to press this for about 40 seconds in total. I did move it around a little bit just so I could make sure I get all of the edges and everything done really well. So just be patient with this, add a little bit of pressure. And if you're not sure what your fabric can handle. There are lots of different charts and information online that you can just type in and find out what temperature your fabric needs. Once it's all heat transferred on and you're sure that it's going to stick, you have to let it cool. I picked up a couple of them just to double check that they were going to be sticking. And you can see me here waving my hand because I want to cool it down a little faster. I'm a little impatient when I'm crafting. So once it's cooled down, I'll be able to peel off all the plastic and reveal a beautiful design on my tea towel. Here's a quick reminder to subscribe if you haven't already. I truly appreciate your support and I'm really close to 35,000 subscribers. So if you can help me reach my goal, I would really love it if you could hit that button. I thought I would pop in here and show you how I'm going to be creating the vinyl for my next project. So you just hit on new project. You're going to go down to your images. And when we're in images, you have the opportunity to choose different filters. And here I'm going to choose free. In the very beginning, when I first got my Cricut Joy, I didn't have the subscription to the Cricut design space. So I just used the free options and there are quite a few of them in there. We're going to type in the word flower and then just hit enter and you get 81 results. Not a huge amount, but there are still some really cute ones in here that I was able to use. I'm going to choose some solid flowers, just this blue one here and that yellow one that we saw. And then there was another blue one up at the top. I'm going to select all three of them and then I'm going to click add to canvas. Once you do that, your images are just going to appear on your canvas. Just click away from them and they'll ungroup and you can go ahead and pull them off to the side so they're all separated. 
Next, I'm going to be doing some slicing. I want to have a little circle in the center of each of these flowers. So now I'm going to choose shapes and just put a circle right onto my canvas. I'm going to use the double sided arrow and make it smaller and then go ahead and put it in the center of my first flower. Now what you need to do is select the flower plus the little circle. So what I do is I just drag my mouse over the two of them and then I can click on both and hit slice. Slice is going to use that circle shape and it's going to cut out the shape of a circle and leave it hollow. So then when I cut it out using my vinyl, I'm going to have a nice cute little circle in the center there. So now what I've done is just made that flower a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to duplicate these other two. I'm going to use my double sided arrow and make them a little bit smaller as well, but I want to put them into the center of each of the flowers. I'm going to do the same thing, select them both, hit slice, wait for the flash, and you can see that it has cut out two of my little shapes here that I do not need. After I've got it shaped and sized where I need it to be, I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow flower. I'm going to duplicate it first, shrink the second flower, center it inside my flower, and then select both of them, hit the slice button, and then pull the larger flower away to reveal a hole on the inside. And those two little ones I can just delete. I'm going to resize this flower as well. I need a whole bunch of different flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate four of each of these florals. And I'm just going to line them up so they're not gonna take up too much space on my vinyl. I did go up to the operations menu and just make them all black. This just makes it easier to see what you're doing. At my Dollarama store, I found this fun bucket hat. It has a black and white buffalo check on the inside, and it's a really nice blue color. I cut out all of these flowers that I just created in my Cricut on the HTV Ront heat transfer vinyl in white. I had to cut them all separately, as you can see, but I'm going to be working in groups of three. I'm going to just place them where I want them to be around the brim of the hat, and then again, I will use my Teflon paper on top and my HTV Ront heat press. Again, it's going to take about 30 to 40 seconds on each of these. And you can see here that I have adjusted the time on my heat press to be 30 seconds. Now, one thing that is different with this heat press than any others that I have is it shows the amount of weight that you're putting on your project. In the bottom left corner of the window, you're going to see a number that's going to move and change every time you move your heat press. This is going to let you know how many pounds of pressure you're putting on your project. Now, most of the time you just need a medium or a heavy pressure, but some projects may have a certain amount of pounds of pressure that you need on your project. So I thought this was really fun to have. The HTV Ront Vinyl really did an amazing job of adhering to all of my projects today, but especially this one, it had some seams on the brim and they all stuck down really well. So I'm what I'm going to do is continue all the way around the brim of the hat, adding more of the flowers, not in so much of a pattern, but just kind of placing them wherever I think it looks nice. I thought I might give this hat away, but it really looks nice on myself, so I think I might keep it for the summer. When you're working with heat transfer vinyl, it's a good idea to warm up your project first before you apply the vinyl. That just helps the vinyl adhere better. So 
it was really fun to make this one. I have a ton of makeup bags, but I can always use another one. So I grabbed this one and the fabric on this is sort of a soft velour kind of feel to it. So it was a little tricky trying to get this to stay. I did have to use the heat press a little bit longer than the 30 to 40 seconds. I think it was almost a minute. And again, making sure that you let it completely cool off before you start peeling off that transfer sheet on the top. Otherwise, some of your letters might come through. This lips and lashes design will be available for you as a free printable, as will all of the ideas that I have for you today. Project number four is using this pin board. It's a black plastic frame and it has a drop cloth center that's got some foam padding to it. It came with a few straight pins. So that just means that you can use it sort of like a cork board, but you're using pins instead. What I'm gonna do is use some of my Cricut heat transfer vinyl in black. I wanted to test out my HTV Ront heat press with different vinyl besides the HTV Ront vinyl. And I was pleasant surprised. It works just as well, if not better, than my Cricut Easy Press. I've been using my Cricut Explore 3 to cut out all of this vinyl, but you can definitely use any type of machine. The HTV Ront Press is compatible with just about everything. So again, I'm heated up my project ahead of time. I placed it down, my Teflon paper on top, and now I'm just going to be pressing it down until I know it's stuck. This heat press works just as well with the Cricut heat transfer vinyl, even though the backing on the Cricut vinyl is a little bit different, it still worked out really well, as you can see. I love this little sign. I think it's going to look really sweet hung somewhere in my home. For this project, I wanted to show you that you can use heat transfer vinyl on wood. It's totally not necessary, but it definitely can be done. Again, warm up your board a little bit. And for this design, I needed to cut it in half because of the size of the heat press. This heat press is a 10 by 10, but this design was almost 15 inches long. So I'm very easily going to be able to just put these together in two separate pieces. With the piece of wood, I was able to add a little bit of extra pressure. You can see that I'm around 33 to 34 pounds of pressure, and that seemed to work really well. The wood gets really hot, so it's a good idea to just leave your transfer sheet on for a little bit of extra time just to make sure that the wood has an opportunity to cool down. Otherwise, you're going to risk pulling that vinyl up when you pull off your transfer sheet. For this particular project, I left the top transfer sheet on while I worked on the bottom. For this last project, I've been wanting to make myself a shirt with my logo on it or just the Schwoven's Nest. So because my logo is multiple colors and it's a little tricky to do, that would have to be a sublimation project. But for this one, I decided to just use a really pretty turquoise heat transfer vinyl, which is from HTV Ront, and just do the Schwoven's Nest with a sweet little birdhouse and a bird. So again, I'm just 
heat pressing my shirt to make sure that it's nice and warm ahead of time. Here I'm just adjusting it to make sure that it's nice and straight. And then I've got my heat transfer vinyl. Now the one thing I have been forgetting to mention is that when you go to cut out your vinyl, especially when you're using words for heat transfer, you need to mirror your image. And that means that the machine is going to cut it out backwards. So when you put it on, it's going to be the front way. So that's something that's really important. And your machine will most likely prompt you and let you know not to forget to mirror your image when you're using heat transfer vinyl. If you're still watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you're ready for a little surprise. I'm going to be giving away this red, white and barbecue tea towel. So if you're interested in getting into the draw, make sure you leave me a comment and put in the word barbecue so I know you'd like to be included. I'm going to be doing the draw on Wednesday afternoon, probably around 5 p.m. EST and I will post it on my community tab on my channel. So again, make sure you leave me a comment if you're interested in getting into the draw for this tea towel. Don't forget to go check out HTV Ront. All of the links will be down in my description box. If you've got a cutting machine, but you haven't invested in a heat press, go get this one. Again, it's only $79 for a limited time. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. Have a great day.